Welcome to the morning show. Hope everyone is having a terrific Tuesday morning. The Talk of the Town with City Manager Andrew Bowser is proudly sponsored by Clancy's, Shelby County's oldest fast food restaurant. Nothing fancy, just fantastic food. In the studio with me, I have City Manager Andrew Bowser, and he made it because why? What's what's going on out there? Well, yeah, it <laughs> seems like there's a little bit of a road closure there at Russell Road. I think the county's mm-hmm. out there trimming some trees and doing some things. So I was kind of mm-hmm. rerouted a little bit this morning. And so, uh, yeah, I mean, but, you know, it's starting to warm up a little mm-hmm. bit after this little cold spell. Do you know that it's going to be like 56 degrees on Wednesday? Is Thursday? it really? Yeah, and then next week it's supposed to be in the 60s. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. But yeah, yeah there, there you go. It's a, a traffic note that... Russell Road is closed between Vandemark and Couther Road. Yes. And we are all out here. Please don't drive it. But if you need to go to the radio station, take a drone. Take a drone. (laughs) Take a drone. (laughs) Um, So let's talk about a couple of things. I wanted to uh, remind everybody the Sydney Municipal Court unclaimed funds has over $4,000 in unclaimed funds. Uh, The court's unclaimed funds are from checks that were issued but never cashed. If you find your name or uh, firm listed and want to have the check reissued, please contact the Sydney Municipal Court, 937-498-8712, before March 31st. Anyone wishing to claim these funds should bring their ID to the clerk's office, located on the third floor of the Municipal Court building, Uh, located at 110 West Court Street. That's the corner of Ohio and Court Street, right in the downtown. Um, So you can come there. I actually have a list. I won't read all of the names that are on there, but uh, certainly a lot of people. And there's some businesses that are on here as well. So just make sure that you're double checking and claim those funds. That's your money. And you can find that on your website. You can absolutely find that. Uh, on the website, and I think we actually push that out on social media as well. Mm-hmm. Um, if not, we'll, we'll do another blast again today. Also, wanted to discuss, um, I know that it, we've, we've kind of touched on it, bits and pieces here and there, um, but wanted to talk about the, street, um, the levy. Mm-hmm. Currently, right now, uh, the municipal income tax um, is set at 1.5. We have a 0.15 street levy that's on there. That is eclipses, no pun intended for this year, but this ends at the end of this year. Okay. And then we were asking for replacement and a renewal and an increase um, moving forward for a permanent income tax increase. And that's really to, to not only do streets and more of them, but it's also talking about people and other projects like parks projects. And so mm-hmm. I wanted to read some of the things that are on there. I know that the committee that has been formed has been uh, discussing and has been putting out a lot of great information with uh, the newspaper to basically talk through a lot of the stuff and where these dollars are going to go, because it's certainly going to set the city up long into the future, Mm -hmm. past five years into 10 years plus of what we're going to do. Um, We're going to expand public works building. And most of that is is because we think and we feel that bringing back in-house our own Municipal uh, refuse, garbage collection, Mm -hmm. is going to help serve our residents much better into the future, right? So I think we get calls all the time about missed trash stops, things like that. So we're Mm going to continue to investigate that, probably purchase our own trucks. So these are the conversations that we're having right now is how do we create better services for our residents and our community, Mm -hmm. especially off of the stuff that we see as low-hanging fruit from what they've been asking us. Mm -hmm. So we talked about that. The Canal Feeder Trail expansion, a Julia Lamb amphitheater for oh. outdoor events, uh, splash pad, skate park, city gateway improvements along the freeway. So if you drive to Piqua or you drive to Troy, you can mm-hmm. see that they've got signage and landscaping and sort of that mm-hmm. that great sort of gateway as they're coming off the freeway. Yeah. And ours is a little lackluster, and I know that we can definitely improve and do some of those things. Mm-hmm. So we've done a lot of the engineering and a lot of things like that. So, so that's part of it. The investigation of a downtown uh, parking, maybe even a parking yeah. garage. Those things would help pay for that. A Veterans Memorial Trail, a disc golf course mm-hmm. in Tawawa Park, the CSX bridge repainting. Mm-hmm. So working alongside CSX and putting some city dollars to be able to repaint some of these bridges for beautification mm-hmm. within our city. Uh, Folkworth Drive access from the Kroger parking lot. Yes. Right? That has been a big thing. Mm -hmm. Fourth Avenue reconstruction. 
downtown sidewalk replacements along the arterials, not just the downtown court square itself, mm -hmm. but further outside. We've got fire and rescue types of uh, vehicles. We need a new hazmat vehicle. Uh, the expansion of parks like Himmelgarn Park, uh, Hoersher Road reconstruction, mm -hmm. Cuther Road reconstruction, Tawawa Park expansion and repaving, water park improvements, um, the list goes on and on. Yeah. Further expansion of custom borders, uh, pickleball court and lighting. Um, we're going to upgrade the, uh, the school's tennis courts alongside them. That, that project's actually going on this year, mm -hmm. right? But we're borrowing funds from other projects to make that happen, right? So there's only a, a pot of money. And right. we can only move it one way or the other, right? Mm -hmm. And so in order to do something, we've got to give it up on the other end. Mm -hmm. uh, Port Jefferson Road Reconstruction, South Ohio Avenue Road Reconstruction, 6th Avenue Connection, I'm skipping over some, but there's just a lot. And so those are a lot of the projects that are already been slated, that there's already been some conversations or pre-engineering mm -hmm. that's already been done. Um, but on top of all that, we've got to talk about people. Um, you know, cost of living has certainly went up. Inflation is certainly, you know, it's impacted certainly the city, just like your businesses that you have here in Sydney mm -hmm. and elsewhere. Um, and, and I'm sure you've experienced it across the board. So um, we've had to hire uh, increased wages, um, increased benefits, and we needed to keep up, you know, sort of with the Joneses, so to speak. And so we, we need more police officers. Mm -hmm. We need more firefighters. We need to have more individuals that are there maintaining such parks and other infrastructure that we've got that's out there. And so that, um, more than anything, is, is really what this is, is geared towards, is putting it towards people and projects mm -hmm. to benefit the community. Are, is the city going to go under without the tax levy? No. It would be a lie and a sham for me to sit here and talk through that. Mm -hmm. But we are on the right track, and we are like a rocket taking off right now, and there are so many good things. And I want the momentum to continue mm -hmm. and for us to start checking off all the boxes that have remained unchecked for far too long. Yeah. This puts us at even keel with, with PICWA and Troy's income tax levy. Mm -hmm. And I think this will put us long into the future so much better. So I wanted to talk through some of that. I know it's it's no one's favorite topic. I mean, who wants taxes increased or anything like that? I mean, it's, it's, it's terrible, but it is a necessary evil to maintain our streets, maintain the infrastructure, water, sewer upgrades, everything that we have here in Sydney and making sure that we're providing adequate protection from mm -hmm. police and fire. And I can't stress that enough that, that these are, are necessary. And, um, and if we do this now, then we're not going to have to do something long into the future. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's, there's a lot of great. And, and I know some of those things have been, been rumbled about, but now they're starting the conversation. Yes. There's a lot of things on there. And no, thank you, because they can read it in the paper, but it's also good to hear. I mean, I'm an audible person, sure. obviously. So that was good. That really put it in perspective. Okay, I'm good with it. Thank you. Well, good. Um, I understood all of that, so well, I got it. <laughs> take the audible from our radio show. Mm -hmm. Go look up the past papers, mm -hmm. because what the committee has done is, is they've tried to say, hey, this is a very complex measure, right? Mm -hmm. This tax levy is something that's been needed for a long time, and we basically just Band-Aid fixing it along the way. Yeah, and right? see, that's the thing. The older things are, you're just putting a Band-Aid on it. Correct. And there's things that you need to upgrade. and There is. And and I would say, go look at the Sydney Daily News' paper. Exactly. When they have those write-ups, you know, they've already done one for parks, and I think mm -hmm. they've done one for fire already, and there's been a couple that's been out there. And so just wanted to let everybody know, um, you know, it's a it's a 0.5 percent uh, municipal income tax levy. Um, so basically it's off of the wages. Mm -hmm. um, really, that's out there. If you're retired and you have a pension, it, it, that's not talking about that money. Mm -hmm. So if you're if you're not already being taxed from an income tax, this is not going to affect you. This is mm -hmm. only for really the individuals that are working within the city of Sydney. Um, and so that that's that's who's who that is affecting. Mm -hmm. So just wanted to kind of clarify some of that. I know there's been a lot of questions that we've fielded and and and, and kind of been research and things like that. Um, the city has, you know, capital funds for, for buildings and, and maintenance of those and things like that. But we want to make sure that we, 
people understand that this is for people and this is for streets and parks projects. Yeah. And you can get on their website for more information. And the Sydney Daily News is another great resource. You can find them online for more to the story. That's what I say when I talk about Sydney. And and they also will provide websites and everything, too. So you can go there in case you missed. Or, well, how do I find the website? You can go there and just Google Sydney, Ohio. Make sure you put Ohio. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Boy, I'm I'm excited because I completely understood that. <laughs> Great. I Great. appreciate that. Well, thank you so much for uh, risking your life to get here this morning. And <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. See what you do for us, man. We appreciate you. Absolutely. That was the talk at the town with City Manager Andrew Boucher, proudly sponsored by Clancy's, Shelby County's oldest fast food restaurant. Nothing fancy, just fantastic food. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Thank you, Tracy. You too. And remember, Russell Road, be between Vandemark and Couther is closed. All right, coming up next, we're going to take a short break and look at your local weather. It's Hits 105.5.